Hello, this is Glenda with Freylands and Friends. And tonight, we're going to finish our lion. This is how we left him last night. I want to do it this way. And how have, us, how have all you been doing today? I hear red nose... That uh, red nose is coming up. What is it? Red nose Tuesday or Wednesday? Anyway, it's coming up next week. I wasn't aware till I heard it on a show tonight. <laughs> but it is important because it's about feeding kids and right now with all this going on. That got part of him. I think that looks pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> Not very complete, but pretty awesome. Well, guys, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying when I lost my battery. Every once in a while, I thought I was looking up, but I looked up when I, I was starting to ask you a question. And I realized... It wasn't recording anything anymore. The screen went black. Okay, I'm going to try and get him smoothed out a bit, and I'll be back. <laughs> what I've done is I went and I, I wet these Q-tips, but I also wet my hands down because my then they're not sticking to the clay while I'm smoothing. Okay. I need to I had to go get a reference for this lion and he needs a longer face I'm gonna okay we need to build him out and down <laughs> like a air hole in there, air pocket. I need it to be solid. That's what I need from him. Okay. I think that's more the shape we're looking for. <laughs> okay, I think I'm starting to make some progress on making him look more of a lion here. And the method I've discovered to works best for me is to do for this mane and longer fur. I'm going to go into some brown now, light brown. I put a strip of it on and I just take my toothpick and pull through. I hope you can. I hope his ears stay together <laughs> and stick out like ears. The rest of it should be fuzzy looking, but the ears should look like ears. I may have to give them more attention after I get this part done. But this is what I've discovered works best for me to get that mane out there and looking like a mane. At least for something <laughs> that I would, you know, I'm, 
I think I'm doing well, but I'm still, I mean, each piece is a learning piece. I think even if you've done something a hundred times before, it would still be a learning piece because when you're doing them by hand like this, I think every piece is going to have its own particular personality to it or its own particular shape, shapes and colors that are going to be unique. You can make them look similar, but they're still going to be individually a little different. Stand this hair up a little more and back. So that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm going to do some more of that. A couple more rows because they don't it don't go too far back from the head, but. I want to get them longer back here, so I'm making a big piece. And I'll be back in a bit. Okay. I think I got his face done. At least as good as I can, because every time you put any pressure on it, it just kind of smashes again. So <laughs> I don't want to touch it with anything but a toothpick now. So... Let's get some paws on this guy. Oh boy. I need to stretch this a little, I think. Because they've got big paws. Big paws. Big paws. Big bad paws. I'll use this on the underneath side. Uh-oh, I used up all my... Uh-oh. I guess we'll use this on the top and some dark brown on the underneath side for the pads. All right, let's make this into a ball. Smash it a little bit and cut it into four equal pieces. I didn't know this guy was going to be so ditch out. <laughs> I should have, I just didn't. Okay. So. flat pad there and then I'm going to oh, add the toes enough. We'll see how this one fits. <laughs> that pad's a little big, but we're just going to put them on there for bulk anyway. Okay, you big bulky lion, let's see what we can do with you.
wire. I hate to lay him down. <laughs> Ah, what can I rest him on? I don't want that mane to touch. Well, guys, here's our lion. <laughs> I'll get him up here for a closer look. He says, how you doing? I am Clarence the kind little man. I put some, I used the toothpick to put a little bit of texture here. I'm going to go over that with just some very light strokes of brown paint before we shellac this guy so that he'll have, you know, like streaks like a lion has. So he's not perfect. For one thing, he's still soft. <laughs> but tried to get some of the, you know, the darker fur around the feet and on the tail. Tail's a little fatter than I would have liked, but it's a lion tail for now. So I hope you like him. I'm going to bake him, and that will set him for sure. So, hey folks, here is Mr. Lion. He tried to set his eyes back in so you have more of that cat eye look. Holy cow. I am going to try that dry brushing again. If I can figure out how to do that. I've never really done much of that before. But we'll just see. Eh, that must be how it works. Ha! Just a little bit here and there. Trying to hit him here and there. I don't want to completely paint him. I just want to get some highlights on there. There's our lion. With his thick tail. <laughs> oh well. He still looks like a lion. I think. He's got the face of a lion, don't you? Yes, I do. I'm hoping, if the weatherman is correct, by the time I come back Friday, we should be able to be outside, or at least on my porch for a while, and get out of the, get out of the clay making for just a day or two not that I don't love it I do but it's like it's a very steady diet the way it's been and I like that but it's you guys I know want to see my porch you want to see outside if we can get outside it is there's possibilities of rain so let's see I'm up to 97 if you can read that, <laughs> probably looks more like 79 if it's reading backwards or gibberish. But no, I'm up to 97. So, you tell me if you like Clarence or Kevin, the kindly lion. I'd really like to have kindly in there. So, we'll see what you say tomorrow. I love you all. <laughs> Have a good one. And we'll see you Friday.